Jesus Christ. Okay, Steel Curtain, the new roller coaster coming to Kennywood in 2019. It is an SNS worldwide record breaker. Oh my gosh, it's themed to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Would you look at that? Oh yeah, this was Project 412, by the way, and now it is Project freaking NFL, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, this is SNS roller coaster. It is 220 feet tall. It is going to reach speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. It will have the most inversions out of any roller coaster in the U.S. Nine inversions. That's actually crazy it'll have about a two minute ride duration four thousand feet of track this thing is black and yellow oh my gosh okay so let's just go through the pov and i will talk to you about my thoughts on this thing all right so i decided to skip the lift hill because well nobody cares about that so we're at the top about 220 feet in the air and holy crap we are starting out with the world's highest diversion 197 feet i think is that correct i don't know but it's literally the world's highest diversion. So there we go. We have the drop, and then we're going to go to a little bank, turn to the left, and we come up into a massive... Did is that a banana roll? Yes, that is a banana roll. The first one in the U.S., I'm pretty sure. Then you're going to go over a little speed hill where you go up into your next diversion, which is, I guess it's like... I don't know. I haven't researched on this coaster that much at all, so that was just a really weird inversion right there. Uh, got a nice, like, airtime breezer, and then you're going to go up into a dive loop. Is this a dive loop? I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe it's something else because this is SNS. Who knows? And w what is that? What is that? That was the longest straight section I have ever seen. All right. Well, anyway, you're going to continue going all through this craziness. And you've got some more inversions here, some little turns. Um, right now, you're going into a cutback. I guess that is a cutback. Yes. And then you're going to go up into the brakes. Wow. That was one of the weirdest rides I have ever seen. Like, holy crap. Steel Curtain looks like the weirdest. It is the weirdest roller coaster I have ever seen. Like... Who names the roller coaster Steel Curtain? I get it, it's for football, but when I think of a curtain, I think of one of those. Yeah, one of those. Not not a freaking football team. So, yeah, I, I guess Kenny Wood kind of knocked it out of the park with this one. At the same time, I literally hate the roller coaster, but I love it too. I don't know what to think of it. It is just, it's so weird that it's hilarious. Like, it has the strangest layout of all time. I mean, I guess it'll be really good, but SNS has made some bad rides. I swear, if this is Gale Force 2.0, I'm going to, I'm just going to die. But yeah, I mean, we're going to have to see what this thing can do. It looks fun, but it is SNS, so this might not end well. However, it does look very strangely in a f fun way. I, I don't even know. This is the weirdest coaster I've ever seen. I love it though. So yeah, this is my analysis of freaking steel curtain uh coming to kennywood in 2019 by sns it is going to break some world records most inversions on any coaster in the u.s and the world's tallest well the world's highest inversion at least so yeah and the first banana roll on the jeez this thing breaks so many records holy crap all right well yeah guys this has been my analysis on steel curtain so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video post your comments down in the section below what do you think of steel curtain i will leave the link to the official pov by kennywood in the description below and until next time coaster fans i will see you later